create this look it is a bit more time consuming but I feel like it's so much more natural looking and so much more glamorous and flattering than your average just slap on bronzer and be done with it so when you look at a face that has the natural shadow um, it's always kind of more gradient and that's what gives it that kind of shape and three-dimensional look which is something that I'm gonna try to recreate for you today and something that I love to do when I'm filming um, it's not something I do day to day just because I do not wear a bronzer day to day um, but when I want a really nice and kind of structured uh, looking skin that's um, what I use and my favorite bronzer which I mentioned in my uh, favorite is the Glam Bronze Bronzer from L'Oreal in the Harmony Brunette duo and I absolutely love it. The highlighter is really subtle and I love it and the bronzer is as you can see not orange at all and it gives a really nice and natural looking shade. So as you can see my um, face is actually quite bronzed so um, this is something that you can really see how does it create the shadow and by the end of this video I'm gonna have a lot more dimension to my face which is awesome. So um, I'm gonna take first a big angled blush brush which this is from Coastal Sense, one of my favorites and I also have the same version but in a smaller um, size. So I'm gonna use both, both of these to uh, recreate this look but I'm gonna start with the bigger one. So I'm just gonna dip it into the bronzer and I'm actually gonna use the mirror from the compact and I'm actually gonna just swipe it along my cheekbones right in this kind of hollow part you can, you know the trick if you don't know where it is just go like this and then you're gonna be able to see this uh, where you want to apply a bronzer so just really blend it onto the skin to warm up the complexion and this is gonna be the first part of our contouring Normally your skin will kind of sink in right uh, above your temples, so that's also where you want to apply your bronzer to kind of have it as a whole and if you would just apply it here, it's going to look really obvious and not too natural, so the temples are kind of a must and also on your jawline. And I see a lot of people apply their bronzers right like to here and they kind of leave this part clean and that's also something that kind of gives the way that you try to contour but it looks really fake so make sure you get it right here as well okay now I'm gonna take a damn beauty blender which this is my Hello Beauty sponge which is in my opinion kind of the same as the beauty blender but I don't own a beauty blender so I'm not sure and I'm gonna go around the edges and blend it out Okay, so now when you have that kind of natural looking shadow and glow to your skin, as you can see I do not have this on this side, now you want to take a smaller brush that I mentioned before, again dip it into the bronzer, and now it's important to locate where is really the beginning of your cheekbones, and that's where you want to apply this more kind of heavily, so um, you, you can again suck in your cheeks and you're going to see it right here, or you can see on camera where... I already have kind of that natural line and that's where you want to focus the bronzer, so. And then again, if you feel like you applied a bit too much or too heavily, just take a beauty blender and kind of blend it around. Another trick, if I really, really, really want to emphasize my contours, I will take a little piece of fabric or just any type of like tissue and I will press it against my cheek and then use my bronzer. And it's just going to give you a really sharp and clean line, which is the most kind of harsh contour, but it looks fantastic on camera and photographs because it really, when it stops and this part seems to be like going upwards, it really does make that kind of sunken look to your cheekbone. So if you really want to emphasize your contours, this is a good trick to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I'm going to have my links in the bottom bar so you can go and follow me. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!